Hello and welcome to Anilo to the demonstration of uh, how to set up the WL100 uh, wireless transmitter receiver for load cells. Over here you have the transmitter module. Uh, it's numbered and this should be the same as the same number as the receiver module. Uh, in this case we have 61003. Um, you will also receive a load cell connector, a mm, USB cable and the instruction manual. What you will need to uh, to set up the to set up the transmitter module is two screwdrivers, one Phillips and one square, one Robertson, and you have you have to have four uh, AA batteries. Now you will take your screwdriver the Phillips open the transmitter box and inside you will find um, the electronics side and the battery side. Use the other screw, use the Robertson screwdriver to unscrew the battery strap. And then install your batteries according to the layout of the battery pack. One, two, three, and four and reinstall the battery pack the battery strap and now you can put the box back together The box is features a water waterproof seal all around the edge. This is a breather valve for um, for uh, br the change in air pressure, and this is your main uh, load cell connector. You can open the protective cap to expose the connector, and then you can connect the connector using the there is white dots on the top for locating pins and then you can connect and uh, connect the load cell. This, but this is the power button. You can press it. Now the actual, the module is turned on, but there is no load cell right now. So we will add a load cell in a moment. Okay, that's the, that ends the wireless, uh, that setup of the transitor module. Okay. Hello, this is the setup for the receiver module. You'll receive a USB uh, mini cable and the receiver box. To connect it, you'll see a USB mini port on the side and it's as easy as connecting it. This port is a standard, uh, is a standard uh, RS-232 USB port. You can connect it to any uh, Windows based computer and then uh, for the website, from the website you will receive also a downloadable link for the software which is freely available. Hello, uh, this is a demonstration of how to connect an actual load cell to the, to the transmitter box. Hopefully you have, you have followed the instruction uh, booklet on page um, on page two of the instruction manual for connecting the pinouts of the um, 
of the uh, connector, load cell connector. Um, and in order to connect it, you have to unscrew the back side to expose the solderable pins. Uh, so you, according to the numbering of the diagram, you solder your excitation plus, excitation minus, signal plus and signal minus to the back of the load cell and reconnect it. Now, in this case, we have one already done. Uh, so we will, so it's as easy as just unscrewing the protective cap and connecting it to the, to the transmitter. And that's it. Hello, this is the demonstration for how to set up the software for the WL100 wireless transmitter product. Over here you will have the wireless transmitter uh, and wireless receiver and wireless transmitter. You connect the wireless receiver with the provided USB cable to your computer. And the computer will automatically recognize this. Um, from the website you will download the AnyLoad terminal application. I have already downloaded here. You open the folder and you go to the AnyLoad underline terminal underline v5-3 and you will turn on the application. Now since this is the initial setup the ID field needs to be checked and corrected. To do that you will enter the password and the, and the calibration parameters will show up. The ID is the same number as written on the box. And you will enter, click the ID button. Now the ID has changed. At this point you can start the transmitter by pressing on the power switch. And the numbers will show up on the screen. Welcome to the calibration process of the of the load cell. Um, in here, we'll explain how once you have set up the the way the connections from the transmitter to receiver to computer and the software running with the ID changed. Then uh, at this at the moment, we can do the calibration process. To do that, you'll enter the password again. and enter password. Uh, make sure the ID field is the same as the transmitter uh, number and make sure there is nothing on the load cell and press dead load so it's zero. Then type the value of a known weight in this case it's five kilo. Type that in the in the um, in here so in this case we have five thousand grams and put the weight on the load cell and press calibrate load now your load cell is calibrated your system right now is calibrated the zero tear uh, buttons they work as normal you can lock your calibration commands um, you can also have a peak mode value so this will show the peak mode of the of whatever uh, weight. So right now I'm pressing on the load cell, and that's that's peak value. You can turn on and off uh, the peak value. It also has a data log function. You can record data at the same sampling rate as the uh, as the sampling rate of the machine. You can also change the change the setting the global settings parameters by entering the password and clicking password and you, in here you can change the sampling rate from 0.1 hertz all the way to 100 hertz. You can also change the unit from gram, kilogram, ton, ounce, uh, pound, kilopound, newtons, and kilonewtons. You can also change the decimal point of the display from 
from 0 to all the way to 5 characters in decimal point after the decimal point uh, you can lock the settings and for more information please refer to the instruction manual thank you very much